Hey guys, Lane here from Graphic Electronics, and uh, this tutorial is about how to key out backgrounds in Adobe Photoshop CS3. Okay, I want to start out by saying, uh, kind of talking about my last video. Uh, my last video, I rendered it wrong, so the dimensions are a little bit smaller. Like, it doesn't take up the entire video screen when you're watching the video. So I fixed that. Uh, it's just because I kind of, I didn't have the same settings saved as I used to when I used to make guides on this channel. But yeah, so that's done and over with. That's fixed, so we won't have that problem anymore. Also, the audio was a little bit bad in those in my last guide because I didn't have my headset. I had a $10 Walmart um, uh, microphone that I was using. Anyway, now I have my headset. So without uh, getting past that stuff, um, this is going to be a guide about how to key out backgrounds in Adobe Photoshop CS3. Okay, so what I've done is I've taken an image of a dog. I just looked up a video on Google, or not a video, a picture on Google of an animal with a black background. So um, yeah, let's get started. So you're going to want to paste your image on your uh, project. The, the image that you're going to be keying out the background of and it's best if your image if the background that you're keying out it's best if uh, if you have nothing going on in the background just like a plain black plain color background um, reason being is because the the color like the tool that we're going to be using it will be able to select and see what color you want to remove a lot easier and if you have uh, an image that you're removing a background that has a whole bunch going on in it, then you're probably going to have to use um, this tool right here. And you're going to have to zoom in and you're going to have to go around like every single thing like this until you've gone around the entire picture. Uh, yeah, and you'd have to do this the entire time. And then at the end, you just kind of right click and go to make selection and click OK and then you just copy what's in your selection and you'd have just your image but that's after you went all the way around with that tool but uh, we're going to be doing this an easier way where we're just going to be cutting out a plain colored background um, now if you have noticed the dog's eyes and nose are black just like the background so there's a little trick that we're going to have to do while we're doing this but it's no big deal Okay, so let's get started. So you're just going to have your layer selected, and it's really simple actually. And then you just want to go to oops, go to select color range, and then just click on the color you're moving. And then right here, right here where it says fuzziness, you're going to want to move that around, and that's kind of like your tolerance to see how how um how precise you want this to be. So if you see, if I go down to zero and click OK, see how uh, if I do that. See how much black is still left around here and how choppy that is. And that's not what we want. That's a. Uh, yeah, it's just. It cuts out too much. Or not enough. Um, and it's way too precise. So basically, you're going to want to move this bar up till you find um, what you need. See, like right there, if you look where the dotted edges are, it's still cutting off a little bit of its ear and stuff. But, I mean, what can you ask for, right? So, um, yeah, that might be a little bit too high, so I'm going to see if I can get this to be a little bit better. I'll try it on 45. Yeah, that's a bit better. Okay, so now, since we have black in the middle, like in the face and stuff, you're going to want to hold down your Alt key, and then um, kind of make a box around the eyes and stuff that are selected in the middle. And then, yeah, and then you just want to click the, the delete key. Now, if you click off, you can see you have keyed out the image background. And then now, in our background layer, we can do whatever we want in it. Um, I could paste that, or I can even do, I could probably even put a gradient on it. Here, I'll show you. Uh, if I go to blending, and then I go to gradient overlay, I could put a gradient there, you know, do whatever I want. Um, you can still notice there's still some black around the dog. An easy way to fix it, not the best way, but an easy way to fix it if, is if you come over here to your uh, water drop tool here. You want to carefully go around the edges of where all the black is, just carefully. And it'll kind of blur out those edges a bit. Here, I'll just um, go around carefully. 
I'll I'll zoom out and do it quickly. But uh, do, 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 do. you want to be careful though, because if you get too far into the edges, like if you get too far into the body, it'll it basically blur the picture because that's basically what this does is blurs it, which kind of will blend it in a little bit better. So as you can already notice, it blends it in better. This isn't this is by no means a good job. I'm just doing this quickly to show you guys what it can do. And then now, if we zoom out, to look, it looks a little bit better, not too much better. Um, yeah. And even doing this, even adding a glow to it, might fix it a little bit. But you know, just play around with the settings that you, that Photoshop gives you. But yeah, that's basically how you key out a background of an image. Um, that's just the simple way of doing it. There's there's many ways to do it. Like you can even, if you have the time, you can just use the eraser tool, and that's probably probably the best way to do it. It just is the longest way to do it. Anyway, thanks for watching this video, guys. Um, like I said, I'm gonna be making a lot more videos to upload to this channel for you guys to see and enjoy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you want more. Um, like the video if it helped you, dislike it if it didn't, leave a comment below, give me some feedback, or if there's any other ideas, suggestions for other people who are watching this video, be sure to put that in the comments so that they can use your advice to help them out. Anyway, thanks guys, I appreciate you guys watching the video. I'll see you guys in my next video, or you'll see me, whatever. Okay, bye.